Okay, hello to all my GIMP fans out there. Now in this new video that I'm showing you, it's a video showing you how to create this neat little glass ball effect in GIMP. So yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. First go to File, New, and create a new document. First we will change the template to US letter 300 PPI, only because it gives a better quality picture. And I'm going to change the layout of that document to Landscape and press OK. I'm going to expand this so everyone can see. And now, what you want to do is create a new transparency layer and press OK. Now, what you want to do in that new transparency layer is click your ellipse select tool and just create a selection in here like so. Once you have that, click the blend tool and make sure your foreground color is a green color if you want to use green. And change the gradient to FG to transparent and shape to radial and just click and drag somewhere around in here now once you have that go up to select and then none now what you want to do is duplicate that layer once again or once period anyway and right click that duplicated layer and go to alpha to selection and make sure your foreground color is a black color and click your bucket fill tool and make sure fill hole selection is selected and fill that selection in by clicking in that selection it will place that in the new transparency layer and you might have to do that several times like so and once you have that go to select none and then we're going to move that below the green layer now with that black layer selected go to filters blur gaussian blur and we're going to blur that by 87 pixels with the chain check and press ok now we're going to pretty much repeat this process without the gaussian blur so go back up to your green layer and duplicate that and in that new duplicated layer what you want to do is right click that layer once again and go to alpha to selection now make sure your foreground color is a white color and fill hole selection is selected and your bucket fill tool is selected and click in that selected area you might have to do that a few times that seems good enough for me and now go to select none now we're going to place these where they need to be placed and make sure the white circle is underneath the green circle and the black is underneath the white uh, and now go back up to your green layer and right click that layer and go to alpha to selection now what you want to do is create a new transparency layer and in that new transparency layer make sure you click the ellipse select tool and change the mode to subtract from the current selection and just make a selection in here like so because now we're creating creating the the liquid effect inside the ball now with that being there now you want to go to select shrink and we're, we're, what we're going to do here is change it to pixels and we're going to shrink by at least 18 and press OK now once you have that with that new layer selected what you want to do is click your bucket fill tool and make sure your foreground color is a red color once again if you want to use a red color and just fill that selection in making sure the fill hole selection is selected and just click and fill that in once you have that go to select none and we're pretty much going to repeat this process so go back to your green layer green circle layer and right click that layer and go to alpha to selection now create a new transparency layer and in that new transparency layer you want to click the circle ellipse select tool and change the mode to intersect with the current selection and just click and drag somewhere along in here 
because now we're we're giving the illusion that there's a top to the liquid, a surface to the liquid. Now, once you have that there, somewhere around in here, in that new with that new layer selected, and click the bucket fill tool and make sure your color is that same red color and fill hole selection is selected and fill that in. Actually, before you fill that in, before you fill that in, go to select, shrink, and we're going to shrink that by 18 pixels. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. And now you can fill that in. Excuse me. And with that filled in, go to select, none. Now you have this illusion that there's a top to the liquid. Yeah, a top to the liquid inside the glass ball. Now with that being there, I want to create, I want to add a little bit more green to this ball. So I'm going to duplicate this green circle layer. And that seems pretty neat, so uh, I'm going to merge that green layer down to one green layer. Now once you have this, what you want to do is merge all these layers down. Actually, before you merge that down, click the green layer and then go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Lighting Effects, and drag this little blue dot somewhere to the top right hand corner of the circle somewhere somewhere around in here and just press OK now once that gets done I'll get right back to you because my computer is retarded and slow I hate it and I need another one so I'll get right back to you once it gets done loading okay now that that gets finished now that that is finished now what you want to do is merge all these layers down to one single layer except for the background layer now with this layer the glass ball layer selected go to filters light and shadow then perspective and you can do this on your own you can create that um, shadow effect on your own but just for the viewers uh, I'm going to make this pretty simple. Just leave everything at default and just press OK. This way, we're actually just going to um, manipulate that a little bit anyway. So click the perspective layer, shadow layer, and make sure you click the rotate tool. And we're going to rotate that straight across. And just press rotate once you get it somewhere close to. And now we're going to click the scale tool and we're going to scale that down to give the illusion that it is flat on something once you have that and we're going to resize that just a little bit more make it a little bit smaller and maybe a little bit down this way okay now that you have that just press ok or press scale and just click your move tool and move that underneath this ball like so now that you have that now merge that layer down to that perspective shadow and now to create that wooden um, floor that you saw in the previous document uh, what you want to do there is create a or duplicate this background layer and that new duplicated background layer click your bucket fill tool and change the fill type to pattern fill and click fill hole selection now we're going to change the pattern to a wooden pattern and you can change it to whatever it is that you want to use and just fill that selection in by clicking in the canvas now to give the illusion that it is flat on something click the perspective tool and click in the canvas now drag these corners down like so just to give it the illusion that it is flat on something once you have it somewhere around in there just press 
press transform transformation excuse me transform whichever one it is and once you have that go back to your original background uh, layer and make sure the bucket fill tool is selected and make sure your foreground color is a black color then go back to the fill type and make sure it's foreground color fill and fill selection is selected also and just click in that canvas and now pretty much all it is is going to your glass ball effect and clicking the move tool and moving that to wherever it is that you want to use now that lighting effect that we used on the glass ball actually gives the illusion that you can actually see through it so that's a good accomplishment and so yeah so now all it is is pretty much just duplicating that and rescaling it each glass ball layer and just placing it wherever it is that you want to use wherever you want to use it so this is a lot of sweetness here 2011 thanks for watching everyone if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe comment like I said and so yeah peace out